Cobra Kai Season 5 Spoiler Review. Let's get on with this. Now, this, as I mentioned in my Spoiler Free Review, was a phenomenal season. Terry Silver steals her show. All the characters are great. The fighting is good. And the stakes have been higher than ever, as Sean Chandler says. Now, let's get on with the good before we get on with my gripes. As I mentioned before, really, there's... It's good. I mean, I don't know what else to say about it. You watch the show, you probably enjoyed it as much as I do. I liked and love the characters. Terry Silver, I liked. The fighting scenes were good. I very much enjoyed the uh, bit of character arcs you had this season. Like, a bunch of good character arcs were between um, Miguel and Robbie. Because, basically, them trying to overcome their rivalry that happened in season two, if I remember correctly, with him breaking his back. And then you have... Of course, you have what's his name's arc. Ah, I, I, okay, Miguel. Sorry, Miguel's arc when he goes to Mexico, which unfortunately I did like. I did see the preference they were trying to do. I just thought it could have been a bit more better. They could have done something a bit more with him and his dad. But that's just me. Uh, I did like what they did with Tori's arc in this season, with her struggling, finding out that Silver did pay the ref off, and he does again in this season, but they. Both of them end up going to the Taikai thing, which would cover Kai out of the picture. Who knows? Maybe just Miyagi Fang may do it. I don't know. The Miyagi Fang, just so you guys know, it's combining Miyagi Do and Eagle Fang. It's dumb, but they have to figure out a name, which they never did, which is kind of sad. I kind of wanted a name. Another thing I have to <clears throat> say was very good and very happy about Mike Barnes being back was just awesome, guys. I mean, I just enjoyed seeing it and. In my personal opinion, even though Karate 3 is probably like the worst movie in the entire trilogy, we're not counting the next Karate Kid. But Mike Barnes and Taylor Silver were a bigger threat than anyone else because they had managed to get Daniel afraid. And I'm not going to discuss Cobra Kai 3 and why I very much enjoyed it, even though it's not a good film. But they are the ones who caused him fear. And just him being back and just him being normal until the end because he accuses Daniel of burning down his hardware store was just fun. I very much liked it. I wish we got a more of him, but with that, that's my only gripe. With that. Another gripe is there's a lot of plot points happening, and it feels like there's a lot of things to catch up and go around, and when it comes with the teacher's fight, I did get this from Sean Chandler's video. I wish we did get a more of training arcs besides just shows and teaching them how to act as a team. Uh, another thing I had... That's complaining that the girl that came back in season four that Johnny liked because of her, I don't know, nerd skills or, I don't know. She joins Cobra Kai because she was in the dojo because Miyagi Do shut down and really, we don't really get much of an explanation for her why she joins Cobra Kai, especially when she made friends with that blonde kid with glasses, I forget his name, sorry, and Johnny because we don't really get any payback or payoff to why she joined or how they feel about her joining just oh she's my student and that's it we don't really get anything else another great power I have is Michael I think or oh, Michael I forget one of, I wanted to do this too basically him betraying Miyagi Do at the end being a do traitor because their dojo has snacks and it's really like it was a good twist I will admit I did not see it coming but I feel like we could have done a bit more payback for that, a bit more plot relevance to him joining besides just him not liking his name. Let's see, what's, what else I did not like? I kind of wish that we got a bit more crease in it, but I can understand why they held him back because he's in jail. And anything else? Sorry guys, I don't really do scripts when I'm preparing this video. I can't think of anything else that I didn't like. But that's just basically my complaints, but overall... It's a pretty good show. I liked it a lot. And it's the best one. And I'm going to do a ranking system of all of them. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video.